I've been paid lots of money to go out into this wilderness, wild frontier, for seven weeks. Yeah, seven weeks without any human contact, with just my camera crew with me. And I'm gonna survive just just on this. The land. Let's go see what animals we can dig up. Crikey, look what we got here. Some sort of hole. I bet some anaconda giant snake lives in there. We don't want to disturb it. What a beaut that hole is, isn't it? Look at the size of that sucker. We better just get out of here. It's a mormon. All right, I'm on top of this giant hill looking for any signs of civilization. From my coordinates, I guess we're somewhere in southern Albania. I can see lots of birds, but so far I haven't seen anything. Any water either. It's been raining non-stop for three minutes. Let's go. But I found out that these things that just randomly stick up out of the ground have water coming out of it. I, it's just naturally known by everyone. But this one's hard as rock. There's no water here to be found. I see some small grass shrubs in the distance. Maybe we'll find like a rhinoceros or something. Let's go. Right now, I'm hiding here. We're being hunted by some sort of large reptiles. We're not sure what they are, but it feels like Jurassic Park. <laughs> what we've got here is some sort of either pipe made by man, snake skins, giant snake skins. I'm gonna go with snake skins. Sounds good. Right now, we're in the close proximity of some sort of watering hole. Our native guide, told us that. Let's head out. It appears, many years ago, when man still inhabited this barren wasteland, that they, they went underground in hiding of a nuclear holocaust of some sort. Probably during the Cold Wars, when Soviets ran free, along with the Germans. And right now, they're, uh, the natives aren't too happy. I thought this was free, so I took it off from one of them. And uh, <laughs> let's get out of here. All right, we've got some uh, strange tracks of some sort. See, four, some sort of bipedal animal came walking from that direction. But who knows who it is, what it is. And over here, we got some sort of giant snake. Oh, crikey, crikey, it's a big one. Oh, everything seems to mutate around here. Even the insects are larger. My guess is there was some sort of nuclear radiation. Over there we've got some sort of pipes. And you can see those green fields on the other side. But don't be tricked. That's Everglades, leeches, snakes, giant octopuses. They're everywhere. But still, like I said before, there's natives on a trail, so let's go. Ah, bloody, this is my harvest for the day. The only sustenance on these plains. It's not much. But it's gonna have to do. And right over here, we've got multiple water devices. I've watched the natives. They seem to hit it with sticks and bring large metal objects and start worshipping it. And sometimes, less than not, it sprays water at them which gives life to everything around here. Amazing, really. Let's head out. Oh, crikey, I got a splinter! Ouch! Oh, that hurt! Got the camera! Amazing. An egg of a Hussophosaurus. I bet it belongs to the Hussophosauruses that live in those Everglades. And if you look closely, you can see an abandoned building in the distance, an old fishing village. But right now we've got more important things to find and I'm still feel vibrations in the ground like all this area is one big creature so let's keep a move on I'm just gonna go look for some water I'll be just a minute hang on okay so, so it's been about about two hours now and uh, Tim dr. Tim he hasn't come back yet and uh so I don't know where he is, and I'm coming to this uh, clearing here. 
There's a path. I, I don't know where it goes, so I'm just going to see if he's back here. Yeah. It's been, it's been another hour and a half. And I'm, I'm going through this trail. Oh, that's a scary looking tree. And, uh, I, I don't... Okay, so, sorry I had a power failure there. Uh, I don't, I still don't know where we, where we are. Oh my gosh, what is that? What? It's coming out to me. Oh my gosh, no. no oh, that, oh. oh, Matt, what are you doing? Oh, there was a giant Bigfoot sort of thing over there a minute ago. Kind of scared me. Let's press on, shall we? I'm getting a bit nervous right about now. See this warning post? There's several of them posted throughout this area. And we've both had some s very odd encounters. And there's just something not right about this at all. If, if we can't find any more landmarks in a while, I'm going to have to use my satellite phone to call for extraction. But right now, we still need water. We're going to die within 10 weeks if we don't get any. Let's move on.